These uh, 35,000 apprenticeships announced today, are they part of the lot that were announced in 2007 in the Queen's speech? Not as I understand it. I think they are, they are new rather than simply a re-announcement and we need to work are on a sector by... Are you absolutely certain of that? No, I'm not, I'm not to be perfectly you're honest with you. You're the employment minister and you're not certain of what's been announced today in apprenticeships. I've told, you, I've told you what I think is the case. I think it's in addition to Shouldn't you those know? announced in 2007. That's my knowledge as I, as you're I know. You're the employment minister. Shouldn't you know? No. Jeremy, calm down a bit. I'm answering the question for you. I wouldn't be... I wouldn't get out well, of your answering. Very satisfactorily, if I may say so. The you are at least honestly answer, saying you don't know, but you should know, shouldn't you? The satisfactory answer is that I've said I think it is uh, new and it's part of a whole range of new announcement initiatives that we will make over the coming month across each sector, across each geographic uh, area to know and sustain uh, what's going on throughout every part of the labour market and every part of the, every part of the country, in Derby uh, and elsewhere. But is, there some, um, is there some new economic model for the country that takes in this new lot of high-tech apprenticeships. Have you got some other idea in mind? Well, as, as the Prime Minister said in the newspapers uh, over the weekend, we do need to get a grip with what the economy is going to look like uh, after this downturn is over. We know that the financial sector will not be as robust and important as it's been uh, in the past. We know that there are real growth areas around the digital age, digital technology, and the broader green and low carbon agenda and we need to start planning for those developments now rather than seeing everything entirely through the prism of the downturn. People need to be assured okay, we'll Minister. get through the downturn but we need to see what the world's going to be like beyond it. Okay, thanks for joining us. Now coming up on the programme. Peterson's time as England captain runs out. Before that, though, a run-up, uh, run round-up of today's news. Our main story tonight, there was a three-hour pause in attacks today in Gaza as Israel allowed some humanitarian aid in, but an Israeli foreign ministry spokesman speaking on Newsnight would not confirm a similar respite will take place tomorrow. Exports of Russian gas to Europe via Ukraine are understood to have completely stopped amid a dispute over gas supplies between the two countries. Heating systems shut down in some parts of Central Europe as outdoor temperatures plunge to minus 10 degrees Celsius and lower. Russia and Ukraine have blamed...